In the previous video, we saw how PyCharm can make coding productive. In this video, we're going to talk about run configurations and basically how PyCharm helps you run your Python code. Well, let's take a look. Hi, I'm Paul Everett, JetBrains Developer Advocate, and welcome to our PyCharm Getting Started series. This Getting Started series will help you learn PyCharm, make new friends, breathe the open air, but 80% of you won't hear about the new videos because you haven't clicked the subscribe button. So after we run some code, how about you run over and click the button? It'll make us so happy. PyCharm is designed to make it easy for you to both quickly run a script and to find robust run configurations with multiple entry points and specific parameters for your application. There are basically three main ways to run your project or script in PyCharm. You can use a temporary run configuration generated by PyCharm. You can start a new project from a pre-configured template, which will create a run configuration, or you can yourself create a permanent run configuration. This series aims to get you up and running as fast as possible. So we will cover how to use each one of these. We'll also see the difference between a temporary and a permanent run configuration. Let's start now. First off, let's talk about temporary run configurations when you're just quickly running some Python code. Here I have a pure Python project open. It's just a Python script from the PyCharm help documentation. As you can see here on top, this dropdown says add configuration. It basically means that PyCharm doesn't know how to run this script yet. The easiest way to do it is by letting PyCharm automatically create a run configuration for you. To do it, you have two options. First, you can right click anywhere inside the editor and use run and then the script name. As you can see here, PyCharm created a run configuration for us, then ran our script and displayed the output in a run tool window. This run tool window is useful to see standard outputs as well as more comprehensive error messages when the Python interpreter finds an error in your program. The temporary run configuration created by PyCharm is now stored as you can see in the top bar. And it can now be reused every time you want to run this script again. All you need to do is click the play button. As I mentioned before, this is not the only way you can do it though. Let's quickly delete this temporary run configuration. Now the button says add configuration again. If we scroll down, you can see in my code that I created a if under under name under under equal equal and then main, uh, a main block. Did you notice anything? Yes, there is this play button in the gutter. This is another shortcut to create a temporary run configuration. By clicking it, a context menu shows up and the first option says run in the name of your script. I'll click it now and as you can see, PyCharm created the same type of temporary run configuration for us, then ran my program and again displayed the output inside the run tool window. It also stored this temporary configuration for us. That's the quick and easy way to run some code, but sometimes you need a richer way to configure what's needed for execution. Let's now look at explicitly creating a run configuration. The previous scenario applied to both PyCharm Community Edition and PyCharm Professional, but the second option is only available in PyCharm Professional. I have here an empty Django project that I just created from the welcome screen. If you want to know how to do it, make sure to watch the video number two in this series. Even though we haven't done anything yet, you can see that the run configurations button already shows the project name and a Django logo. 
it means that PyCharm already created a basic run configuration special for Django. If we click the play button, PyCharm will launch the Django project, including launching a web server so you can click the link in the run tool window and see your Django project come up. Pretty cool, huh? And PyCharm Pro doesn't do it just for Django only. It also can create configurations for your Flask projects, fast API projects, and projects based on other frameworks. Next, we will have a quick look at permanent run configurations. Many times in your development flow, you will need to configure different starting points for your application, including, for example, executing your script with different Python interpreters. This is when permanent run configurations comes in handy. Let's see how to do it. The first and easiest way to do it is by transforming a temporary run configuration into a permanent one. To do it, you can simply click the drop-down menu and select the option to save the configuration. You can also use pre-configured templates to create your run configurations. To do it, just open the Edit Configurations dialog. Then click the plus button. And choose the target you are creating run configurations for. Each template has specific fields that are necessary for configuring different targets. That's it for today. We saw how to quickly run our Python scripts with temporary run configurations and why sometimes it can be handy to create permanent ones. PyCharm can do a lot more than that. So if you're interested in creating more robust run configurations, make sure to check our documentation. Link is in the description. I hope this video was useful for you, but if you have any questions, ask them down in the comments below. In the next episode, we'll talk about basic code refactoring hmm, in PyCharm. In the meantime, make sure to click the subscribe button so you won't miss any future updates. See you in the next video.